Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanner, for those of you who don't know me. I do makeup tutorials and fun makeup looks and whatever y'all want to see, really. So, um, today's video is going to be me doing my drill team makeup. Now, my director has sent out a video for us to follow. Not, ex not, not precisely, like not every single thing that is done in the video, but... There are certain things that you have to wear, like bronzer, lashes, blush, and red lipstick. And there's other things that you do specifically for your skin. Um, so today, I thought it would be cool to do that and show y'all how to do some drill team makeup. And if there's anybody out there who does not know, like, is on the drill team, but it's, like, new member and does not know how to do it, they can, like, watch, you know? Yeah. So, um, I'm going to... I went to Ulta and got some, a couple makeup products that I needed because your girl was running out. And yeah, so let's get right onto this video. Alright guys, so um, the first thing I'm doing is primer and I'm using my Tarte. Oh. Uh -huh. My Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Um, this primer, like, it like, what's it called? It feels like kind of chalky, but it, like not at the same time. It's really, it's really hard to explain. Like, you cannot see your pores. It's like a pore filling primer, kind of. I guess you could say. Sorry, got a lot. And, um, I forgot a mirror. But I'm just gonna rub that in. Alright, next I'm going to do foundation. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is one of the new products that I got at Ulta. Wow, you just like pour it on there, huh? That sucks. <laughs> they really should make these better or something, cause like, what, what? Like it's open, there's no pump or anything. And this is why girls wear cakey makeup. Okay, we're just gonna put that everywhere and try not to miss a spot. Wow, I look like I'm not wearing foundation. Sorry. Um, I kind of have trouble matching foundation to my skin, so I had my younger sister come with me and she was like, yeah, that one looks good. And I was like, if it doesn't, I'm gonna kill you. But it looks pretty good. See, I'm not like the best, best at foundation, but I'm not the worst, if that makes sense. Wow, look at that. I'm saying I'm not the worst. Yeah, but you're streaky, so is that true? Oh, probably not. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add some concealer, cause you're, um, now I'm gonna do concealer. I'm gonna take these two shades. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, and these shades are fair beige and light medium. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to do more of the lighter shade because um, I'm gonna be turning lighter as when the school year starts. So. But it's like super bright, so I need to like darken it like a little bit. Since you're my boo. And um, this one, I kind of compared it. It's a tiny bit darker than my um foundation. I think it has more of a neutral tone but I guess it's okay. 
trying not to add too much, you know? You feel me? Yeah, but we're just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna do this first. See, like, blended in perfectly. Wow, okay, we're gonna do this now. And I, like, don't start right here because it can be, like, kind of... Yeah, but we want, like, bright under eyes so the audience can see us from the field because... They need to see us. Okay, now I'm going to set my face. And I got a new, what is this called? A new setting powder, and it's by Juvia's Place. And Juvia's Place is like super <laughs> cheap. Well, not super cheap, but pretty cheap. <gasps> oh, this is good. And it's a black owned beauty brand. And their stuff is so good. I wanted to get a palette, but I had to like limit myself because I, I already know I wouldn't be able to use it at any of the games because they have like tons of shimmery shades and we don't really use shimmery shades. Okay. Oh, let me show you what it looks like. So it looks just like this. And this is like, they have like three different shades. There's like, this is like the I guess you could call it a translucent powder, translucent powder, and then there's um, two more for darker skin tones. Um, but you know me, I had to go with the whiter one because you girl, I'm a white girl. So if I can um, take this off, this is probably gonna get real messy real fast. But yeah, I'm gonna use this for my under eyes and like my T-zone, and then I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Banana Bread for everywhere else. But yeah, it's time to bake. Um, I just like got a lot of my legs. Okay, so we're gonna put this, just stamp it. There's like very little fallout, which is good. You like that. Okay. But then again, setting powder gets everywhere, like, just cause. I kind of look funny right now. I'm like, Whoa. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Banana Powder. And, like, I got this whenever I wasn't, like, really ready to try Chinsu's and Powder. Because it's, like, colored. But yeah, it's a lot. There was a lot because it's just there. It doesn't like go down, it just stays there. Fenty Beauty does have a, it, it is a finer powder it looks like. But you know. Um, so far I like both of them. And we'll see how they are. They're being taken off. Oh my gosh, I want, I want to show you on my shirt right now. But because Fenty Beauty is finer can y'all see that look at all of it oh my goodness <laughs> there's so much okay now we're going to um i would let this sit but i kind of look crazy so i'm just gonna brush it all off with this big fluffy brush i'm gonna wipe off the fenty first and then wipe off the translucent powder also the fenty beauty smells super good and you don't have to use like powder like like loose powder you could use a pressed powder um it's just your preference really just make sure you set your face or else it'll be locked in place and you'll sweat it all off and we don't want that. Okay, now I'm gonna move away from the face and work on the eyebrows. And I'm gonna use my Morphe Brow Cream, as always. Um, let me get a brush. Excuse me. Um, now I'm gonna highlight my brows. Blend it out.
All right, let's set them and forget them, honey. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. And um, yeah, I'm only gonna use like a couple like transition shades or blending shades. I'm not gonna go like deep into it. I might use like three colors and that's it. Cause that's how I'm actually gonna use um, a new brush that I got in my Ipsy bag. Um, I don't know if it's like pronounced like Farah or if it's F-A-R-A-H. That's how it's spelled, but like there's a period between every letter. I don't know, but it's the 35E and it looks like this. It's a blending brush and I don't remember the name. I don't remember the colors. Sorry, um, but I'm going to dip into this shade right here and place that on my crease. Sorry, I have to I'm gonna place it on my crease. Um, I'm going to dip into this brush. It's like a flat edged condensed brush and I'm going to. Okay. Sorry, I'm just thinking about the shades. So now I'm gonna dip into, yeah, this one right here. And we're gonna um, put that all over the lid. And I'm just going in soft circular motions to blend the two shades together. All right, just like that. And then I'm gonna go one step further and dip into this tapered brush like this. I'm going to go into this chocolatey tan shade right here and oh, that, that. and I'm going to put that like right above my lower lash line and I'm not allowed to use black by the way. <laughs> no black. Okay and then I'm going to take this flat brush and just blend the two together. And then lastly, I'm going to take that first brush that we used and blend everything together. Okay. Now for that, for the lower lash line, we're going to dip into that very first shade we used. And I'm going to use this flat brush again. And it was this one, by the way. And we're just going to put that in the lower lash line. And I'm connecting these, the outer corner with the lower lash line. So it all blends together. I'm going to do liner and lashes off camera. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back with the other eye, eyeliner and lashes all done. These lashes are by Kiss and I did make them a little long. So they're kind of poking me in the inner corner, but, um, I guess it's fine. <laughs> Um, but I really like them. They're really dramatic and it's like, poof. I love it. Um, so next I'm going to, we're going to do some bronzer and I'm using my mini Hoola Benefit bronzer and, ooh, whoops, wrong brush. This is one of the things that you need, need to wear because you need, you need depth. You need the depth you also need lashes you need lashes um so yeah i'm just gonna grab enough and we're just gonna put that on my cheekbones and it's easier to build up the bronzer instead of just like packing it on because one of my girls said you can always build up but you can never take away so you build and build and build until you think you have enough. And then um, I'm going to do some of my forehead because the girl's got a big forehead. But I usually like keep it on the sides because that's the biggest part of my forehead is the sides. Just like keep it. Do, it's not like a long like this. It's like and 
doing your forehead isn't necessary, but she said you can do it if you want, but because we wear heads at football games, it's not really necessary because it's just going to cover it up. But I feel like I have to, kind of. I'm also going to do like outside of the temple area, like this. Okay, and I usually do my nails, but we're not going to worry about it today. Um, I mean, we could, but do I really want to? Not really. I have a pretty cute nose. Boop, boop. Um, now it's time for blush. Now, this is the second thing. Actually, technically the third, because we already have lashes on. This is the third thing that you need a lot of. So, because you need to look rosy. You don't want to look pale while you're being watched, right? So, we're going to pack this on. And we're going to put it. I just put it in the wrong spot, but that's okay. You will like when you smile, you see those little, I don't remember what it's called. Um, this part, you're going to put it behind it. So it's like this. What is next? Highlighter. Okay. So these, these, this is one of the other things that I got at Ulta. And it's also by Julia's Place. Um, I don't really know the name of it. Um, so it looks kind of just like the, um, Nefertiti. Nef Nefertiti? I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it looks just like the setting powder. And let's see when you open it. It's just, it's just like this. Um, we're going to put this, wow, that's a lot. Um, we're going to, where are we going to put this? We're going to put this on the cheekbones, um, down the bridge of the nose, and the inner corner, and the um, brow bone. Wow. Sorry, there's like a lot. Holy, that is a pigmented highlight. Let me tell, oh, I have to show you one of the other. And there's so much access that I'm tapping off and it's still showing up. Like, do uh, oh, honey, no, look at this glow. This is my all-time favorite highlight now. I'm going to use it, like, in every single video, okay? Okay, honey. Look. Look. Okay. Um, uh, let me, let me, let me stop. Um, now I'm going to take out a little small flat brush and put some on the tip of my nose. Okay, now I'm going to put this in the inner corner. Okay, now when you put it in your brow bone, you have to blend it with the other colors. So you can't just leave it like that. I mean, if you, you, you could if you really, really wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend it. So I'm going to take that blending brush and I'm going to blend it. I'm like brushing it away and it's still there. Wow! I'm in love. In love. Okay, now. The second to last step. I almost said last, but we can't get something. Sorry. Lips. Now, this is the iconic red lipstick drill team thing. Iconic red lips. When you go to my school, they are never wearing anything else. It's always a bright red shade. Never. Okay, sometimes darker red, but it's usually this red. And... This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick. I've always wanted to get one of these, but you know, it's kind of expensive. It looks like this. I feel like the Queen of Hearts is like this. Just need to like take away the rest of the <laughs> lipstick on the bottom lip. The very last thing, setting spray. This is important because you don't want it to come off whenever you're performing. 
or else you're gonna look like a fool. And ain't nobody got time for that. So, all right guys, that is the completed look. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video kind of tutorial, I guess you could say. Um, but I had a lot of fun making this video for y'all um, and also creating this drill team look for the very first time. Um, I had fun going shopping and getting some new stuff, even though it probably wasn't the best for my video account. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if y'all would like to see any more videos, just, if y'all would like to see any specific videos, leave it in the comments down below. Stay tuned for next week's video because there will be two little boys doing my makeup. Um, yeah, so... Please make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!